guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren LaBeouf. If you're new here, definitely click that red button down below. I know that you see it. It is right there. Just click it, subscribe, join the family. Also, if you are already subscribed, you should try and hit that bell looking button down below because then you'll get notified every time I post a video since usually my video posting schedule is kind of random. So that way you will get notified every time I post a video. So do that if you would like. And before I get into this video, I did want to talk about this Dermalogica set really quick. And I just got this in the mail from Dermalogica. And I just wanted to say, if you guys want me to try this out for a couple of weeks, I will definitely do it and do a video on it if you would like to. Definitely, definitely let me know down below and I will totally do it. But I'm just looking at this. I just got this today, but there are some awesome things in here. There's like some oil, there's an exfoliant, there's a primer, there's a pre-cleanser to get all of your makeup off before you actually wash your face. So I think I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna try this out for a couple weeks. Let me know if you want me to kind of film it or vlog about it or just talk about it in a full video. So yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so getting into this video, just jumping right in and since this is one of the most requested videos I've been getting lately and it is my skincare routine. Alright guys, I'm going to be very honest with you guys and honestly for a while and even now I think my skin is actually kind of one of my insecurities I guess I would say. I hate that word but I mean it is kind of true. I think a lot of us girls really, you know, we love makeup and we love putting on but it is kind of hard to get in the mindset of putting it on because it enhances your beauty not to cover it up. So for a while, you know, when you're in middle school and stuff, you pile on the makeup. And then I just, I definitely did break out while in high school. My skin is a lot better now. I think that's definitely having to do with my eating, you know, drinking a lot of water. So definitely skin and your um, glowiness of your skin starts with what you are putting in your body. But today I'm going to be talking about what I've put on my face. So I just wanted to share with you maybe some of my tips or any of that. Hopefully you guys can take away something from this video. My skin has definitely cleared up within the three years or so that I've been out of high school while I am old. I would say it's definitely a lot clearer because I have grown to know a knowledge of my skin. That's one of the first points I would want to tell you guys is know what kind of skin you have because you could be using all of these products that were great for somebody else and their skin but probably not your own so the first thing you should know about my skin is that I would say I am on the oilier combination side rather than the dry skin side so those are kind of the two spectrums you can be in the middle so you really do have to kind of get to know your skin and see where you're at with that because the products that you use on your skin have to do with what type of skin you have I'm sure you guys know that but I just wanted to add that in so now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, I'll go ahead and start. So starting with what I do when I wake up in the morning is definitely using a cleanser. I think sometimes people or girls think that right in the morning they need to use a harsh cleanser or even exfoliate. And I would definitely say what I've learned is do not do that. And definitely go with a gentle kind of cleanser. And so the one that I love is the Cetaphil cleanser. It is just from Target or literally anywhere. It's a daily facial cleanser. So honestly, anything that says daily cleanser and it is a gentle uh, cleanser, that would be great for you to start off in the morning. So I will try and just splash my face with some warm water, put this on, rinse off, you know, get my face washed and it will wake me up in the morning. And and all that good stuff and it's not going to be really abrasive and just insane on my skin every day all right and I guess we're gonna fast forward to the nighttime if I'm wearing makeup that day then I will start by taking my makeup off with the Neutrogena makeup wipes I love these ones I was using like the Costco ones for a little bit but just something about them that they don't really get my makeup off that well so I definitely like these and going along with taking off your makeup I love this micellar cleanser like I don't even get how it gets your makeup off when it says that is mainly water but I think that is an awesome first ingredient to have you don't have insane chemicals in here it's water you've got some things that can break down your makeup it looks like and yeah so not too many crazy ingredients which is also a good thing to look for in something that is basically getting off your makeup sometimes I look in the mirror and I think oh all of my makeup's off and then I use this on a cotton ball and I can see all the makeup that was still on my face which is crazy so I definitely recommend this now once I do that I love love this thing oh my goodness I wish this was sponsored by Vanity Planet but it is not at all but I definitely wouldn't mind that because I use this every single day not even kidding you so what this is is a spinning cleanser literally you just put soap on your 
your face and turn this on like so. There's two settings on there and you're just going to wipe your face. It gets a lot of your makeup off, a lot of the dirt and grime that you've had on your face all day, which is, I know is disgusting. So I usually like to use the soft cleanser every day use, but the awesome thing about this is that it has three different attachments and one of them is a little bit more abrasive. And then the last one is one of my favorites. It's an exfoliant uh, little attachment. And I love that it is a rubber one. I'll show you guys in this next clip. But I love that it's rubber because that means that bacteria won't latch onto it and stay there. It's much easier for it to get washed off and cleaned um, when it's kind of that rubbery material. I guess that's what it is. I think it's a rubbery consistency of a attachment. So I really like that one for exfoliating my skin. And I will do that one maybe once or twice a week depending if I've done a mask or a different exfoliant. I just don't want to be like exfoliating my face too much throughout the week. So it just depends. Um, so maybe once or twice a week using that attachment and moving on to exfoliators I love this one so much I actually got this in the fab fit fun box uh, recently that was sent to me and it is the dr. Brandt microderm abrasion and it says age-defying exfoliator radiates smooths polishes I definitely notice a smoothing effect when I use this I think it is just great to continue to do that throughout the week once or twice again you don't want to be exfoliating too much on your skin but this has just been a great one for me just keep rubbing into your skin for about a minute or two and I like that I can feel this working it's kind of like a weird stingingness but it's nothing like crazy you can just tell that it's really cleaning your skin and all that so I really like that part of it so basically once I'm done exfoliating in the shower I will just get out dry my face and pretty much if my makeup is all the way off then we are pretty much good to go so I really like using a rose water or any kind of toner on my face after I have gotten out of the shower and I'll just put this on a cotton ball. This is the Mario Badescu. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. You can get this at Ulta, I think Sephora, um, probably more places. And I will just either spray it on a cotton ball or take this whole thing off and dump it onto a cotton ball. And I'll just go ahead and put that on my face. And it is just a great skin toner. It's going to reduce a little bit of the redness in your skin and any scarring that you might have from previous acne stuff. <laughs> at night, I wanted to talk to you guys about a rose hip oil or honestly any oil sometimes I will use uh, Moroccan oil actually I know a lot of you guys are probably like what that's mainly for your hair but it is good for your skin as well and this is a rose hip oil and I'm almost out of it I got this from Target and you guys might be like freaking out like why would I put oil on my face when I don't want it to be oily but that's actually where a lot of people kind of go wrong because you think oh I don't want to put more oil on my skin my skin's already oily I'll just not put on any moisturizer at all and I'll just you know go to sleep and then I'll be fine but actually your skin kind of freaks out and has to end up producing more oil when you don't moisturize after you've washed your face you've exfoliated and all that stuff your skin needs to produce oil so it kind of freaks out it's like oh my gosh I'm super dry so now I need to make more and you're just gonna end up a lot more oily throughout the day you're gonna notice your makeup isn't looking as great as it should so I definitely like to use this every other night or honestly every night depending if it's winter or summer and I've been using the rosehip oil like I said I'll just put that on my face as a moisturizer at night all you need is one drop it's not that much it's great and I would definitely suggest it if you're having trouble with oily skin or even dry skin honestly this is gonna work great for both of you girls out there whatever side of the spectrum you're on so yeah and the last thing is going to be something that gets rid of those stubborn blemishes that we tend to get so I use the Mario Badescu drying lotion and this is also a very popular one here on YouTube as well as the beauty community so I just take this on a cotton ball and I will put that on the problem areas that I might be having and it's very simple you're gonna look like you have chicken pox but it's okay it's fine you're going to sleep anyways so I'll use this you know when I need it technically not every night but when I do see or notice a blemish coming through then I will go ahead and try and stop it with this and it is a great drying lotion Alright guys, so that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any more questions about my skincare or anything like that, go ahead and say it down below. And I will try and link all these products in the down bar as best as I can. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!